So, we will continue our discussion. Uh, so, basically, we are discussing about the uh, cathode ray oscilloscope CRO. So, what we have discussed? Basically, I have uh, shown you CRO and I have shown you the uh, front panel and back panel. See, in front panel, as I told that uh, there is a display screen and then display control and other one is vertical control and uh, this one is vertical control and this one is uh, horizontal control and this part is triggering or sweeping mode, sweeping control. Okay. So, uh, basically what is inside uh, that we are controlling using this front panel. So, that is what I was discussing. So, so this so I opened I opened the this CRO and showed you inside there is mainly two parts are there you see half portion is the cathode ray tube CRT. So, it is uh, basically uh, this part is uh, display and another part is control unit. Okay. So, we control this display uh, this vertical control, horizontal control, triggering or sweeping right and this other some part is here. So, this is the basically power supply. So, we give uh, we have to apply. So, in back side as I showed here. So, basically we plug in this uh, power here. So, inside basically uh, in in this oscilloscope we need high voltage as well as low voltage high voltage for this CRT, but we are applying we are giving this uh, 220 volt our line voltage is 220 volt, but here we need high voltage means it is around uh, 1, 1 kilo volt 1000 volt and for other circuit we need lower voltage. So, 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 from one input, so we have to generate basically different magnitude of the uh, of the voltage. So, here you can you, you can see this this uh, I think this is a transformer. So, this for uh, higher voltage uh, it is it gives higher voltage uh, to the CRT tube. So, these are the if I just open this and it, this inside. So, so inside this this main part is basically CRT cathode ray tube okay. and this cathode ray tube that is controlled by this control unit some electronics right. So, to understand the function what we have seen in front panel. So, we have to know uh, we have to we have to know the principle of this CRT that I have discussed. Now, whatever I have discussed that principle how it is applied. Hmm. So, to know that one to see that one. So, I will open I will I will show you the CRT tube okay, and inside what is there that I will show you. So, I will not take out this CRT tube, but similar CRT tube I have and that I will show. Uh, what are the what are the things inside of this CRT and we are controlling that one uh, using this uh, electronics. Okay. So, uh, I think yes. Uh, so, CRT tube is basically just to cathode ray tube it gives the cathode ray. Okay electron beam it gives the electron. So, it generates electron beam and it control the electron beam. Okay. So, to generate electron beam so we tell this uh, electron gun. So, electron gun basically 
it gives the uh, accelerated electrons, accelerated uh, electron beams. Okay. So, many electrons, okay. so they are moving, so then that is beam. So, now that beam, now that electron beam, so that is manipulated. Okay. If I want to move this electron beam vertically, if I want to move this beam horizontally, okay. so how it is done? So, that is what cathode ray tube okay. and this electron finally, will hit the screen phosphorus uh, fluorescent key screen and then it generates light okay. and that we see the light. So, this whatever light we are seeing on the screen that is basically indirectly we are seeing the presence of electron, electron hitting the material phosphorescent or fluorescent material and it is give corresponding light, we are getting corresponding light and that is what we are seeing. So, basically we are seeing the indirectly electron on the screen. Okay. So, so, this part is CRT. Okay. So, how it is done? So, that I want to show you. So, uh, let us see the CRT uh, cathode ray tube. So, here I have cathode ray tube this is the cathode ray tube. Okay. So, it has display and on display the screen the scale is there you know this x scale horizontal scale and vertical scale. Okay. So, uh, so, this is the display part and this the uh, other part. So, here uh, you can see here this electrical connection and here what I need? I need that I need I have to I have to I have to I have to get electron from where I will get I will get basically from material. Okay. So, from material how one can get electrons how one can eject electron from the material. So, basically you have to hit this material uh, and material you have to take uh, that is a lower work function. Uh, of, uh, so, uh, with small energy electron will come out from this uh, uh, from this uh, material. So, um, so, one part is just to generate electron and electron will scatter in different direction you know it will not just ejected in one direction it will scatter. So, you will get basically uh, scattered electron. Now, that electron uh, I have to I have to basically focus that electron I have to focus means whatever divergence is there. So, I have to make it collimated okay. I have to make it uh, unidirectional. Okay. So, focused one I want to make it diverge one this focused one. Okay. So, uh, then uh, I should uh, have option to control the uh, control the uh, uh, I think uh, number of electrons or intensity of the electrons. Okay. So, for that I should have option if I want more electron in the beam intensity of the beam should be higher. So, I sh or lower. So, that control I should have. Okay. So, uh, so uh, intensity control then focusing of the beams then acceleration of the beam. Okay. So, so, from here so that mechanism should be in this CRT tube CRT and then I will get accelerated beam. Then second part should be uh, should have I should have this uh, uh, for manipulation of the electrons along the uh, uh, horizontal direction or along the vertical direction. So, that option should be there okay. and then display part is, is there fine. So, let me just if, we, if I want to show you I have to open it. So, let me open it. Uh, I think it is a, so this is the use of screwdriver you know since I can use so quickly I decided to open it. If you do not use you are not familiar with this one then I think you will avoid to do that. 
So, that is why uh, you should not have inertia. Uh, so, that will discourage you. So, this let me take out. So, then I think these are just stand would not stand okay. here uh, you see. So, what is there here? So, this you see this part this is one part then second part then third part okay then here you can see uh, yeah i think i don't know whether it is you can focus it or not so this other part you see these uh, two plates are there you know so these are capacitor plate so it's the vertical in this vertical direction so two more plates are there inside that uh, we cannot see that is basically two plates are along the horizontal direction along the horizontal direction this way these two plates are there so that we cannot see so here can you see so i think this same figure i have taken picture so here things is clear okay just check it here okay if you see this part this part i think i have to yes i say this part you can see this is this part so this basically it is generating electrons so we have filament we have filament you see this these two connection these two connection is basically for filament and then we have cathode plate so this cathode plate is given uh, some yeah i think i, I don't know this uh, yeah uh, cathode plate is uh, I think uh, we do not need any power, but, but to generating electron, but to accelerate electron it is cathode means negative power is given. So, this is the wire to give the negative power, this is the wire to give the negative power and these two connection is for uh, these two connection is for basically for filament. So, from filament these two connection is these two connection for filament this is the connection for uh, this uh, high voltage uh, between the cathode and anode. Okay. So, so, this part is basically uh, for generating electron and you can see one hole is there. So, inside here at the end of this uh, cylinder. So, there is a uh, plate and this one hole is there. So, this is basically grid we tell grid and then the another plate with hole then this this cylindrical part is basically for focusing it is a lens kind of thing okay. uh, it is electrostatic lens. So, basically it is a uh, capacitor uh, cylindrical capacitor. Okay. So, uh, if you give power here say uh, negative power so when electron will go. So, whole surface will be negative. Okay all over the round surface will be negative and then when electron will pass through it. So, it will not go towards the surface. So, it will converge towards the uh, axis okay, and it will pass and then it will pass through the another plate with having hole then it is here another uh, yeah. So, so there are different stage another hole plate here. So, that I will tell you what is this. So, main part is is just to generate electron here filament in cathode then grid. Okay. So, and then these are plates. So, these are for uh, electrostatic lens cylindrical uh, capacitor basically okay. and then it is it is going different plates are there. So, these plates are basically uh, it is uh, uh, it is accelerated in stage by stage you know. So, this voltage is not given just directly from cathode to anode. So, in between different stage. So, these plates are used for basically uh, applying this uh, anode voltage uh, in different stage. So, one first part is to tell this p accelerating uh, uh, voltage p accelerating uh, anode voltage and then accelerating anode voltage. So, that way. So, so this uh, let me come back here. So, uh, this uh, in this here also you can you can see you know uh, yeah I think uh, let me 
yeah. So, this part as I told this part is, uh, so this main part one is, uh, main part one is this part is uh, for producing electron filament cathode and grid also at the end of this the grid is there and another main part is here focusing okay. and these, these plates are with hole these are using for p accelerating uh, voltage and then voltage and these two plates here as I sh uh, showed you uh, is inside here two, two plates these are for uh, vertical deflection it is a just capacitor plate you know it is not parallel plate, but distance are increasing linearly. So, that there is some reason because to, to, to deflect the electron around this uh, uh, with higher uh, range. So, that is why it has not make it parallel uh, it has just make it uh, this uh, divergence one. Okay. So, that is the reason nothing else. Okay. So, only parallel plate you can think that distance are increasing uh, gradually. Okay. Now, uh, I will I will show you. So it is very interesting, you know, that just you are you are generating electron and you are seeing electron on the screen, not directly indirectly in terms of light. So I will show you. Uh, yes, uh, I will show you. I think now I will put back it here. I will put back uh, this one here. Yes. Now I have put back. Yes. So, the scale is on this uh, on this uh, uh, screen. Uh, so, I have put back now I have power supply I think I will show you power supply I will show you power supply here I think if I want to show you this power supply I have to take it in. Uh, so, this is the power supply for this. Uh, cathode ray tube okay, CRT. So, is the power CRT here written CRT okay, power given to the CRT tube then what is the on off. Okay. So, I will I will switch on it power is on right. Now, here this you see here when I switch on I should I should see I think I should clamp it otherwise it may. So, I should see this electron uh, let me just uh, yes uh, I think I should clamp it and that is what I am doing otherwise it may slip and then uh, tube may get damage. Okay. Okay, fine. So, uh, I when I switch on, what I will see, what I am seeing on the screen, this is the CRT. Okay, so just I switch on, I am seeing one spot, you know, yes, one spot. Okay, one spot on the screen, but it is not at the center. Okay, now this just using this part using this part using this I should not touch because this high voltage is there. So, using this part so this uh, filament uh, then uh, cathode. Okay. So, this is getting power okay. and basic power is there with in x plate y plate focus uh, and intensity. Okay. So, I am getting accelerated electrons beam which is hitting the screen at this place and I am getting I am seeing it okay, in terms of light. Now, as I told that on power supply you see here it is a uh, y shift x shift means vertical control and horizontal control here you can see this focus okay, at this intensity. So, I am changing this one intensity I am changing this one. So, this intensity of the beam is you can change you see intensity of the beam you change. So, when I am rotating this knob what I am doing. Okay. So, in CRT, in CRT what is happening. So, basically as I told 
this to change the intensity. So, basically we are changing the voltage in grid. So, which one is grid as I told this that that uh, uh, filament and then cathode and in front of that there is a uh, there is a plate with hole as here you can see there is a plate with hole here you can see there is a plate with hole right there is a plate with hole not this this plate not this plate. So, it is just uh, at the edge of this so one plate with hole ok. So, that is basically grid ok grid now you imagine if, if in grid if I apply negative voltage. So, electrons whatever coming eject getting uh, getting ejected from the cathode. So, that electron will uh, will not come forward ok. So, it will feel retarded if I apply positive voltage now electron will be accelerated ok it will come towards the uh, that plate and passing through these holes ok. So, so if I apply more and more negative voltage I can decrease the uh, uh, number of electrons passing through this hole. If I increase the higher volt the uh, positive voltage and in the uh, uh, giving higher and higher voltage. So, I can increase the number of electrons passing through the holes. So, that way we control the intensity of the electrons means intensity of light. So, that is what here I am rotating knob, here I am rotating knob means I am changing the voltage of the grid. Okay. So, this is the intensity and that focus as I told this uh, that cylindrical part is there ok cylindrical part here you can see this cylindrical part is there. So, this is basically lens electrostatic lens. So, uh, it is a voltage is applied to it it is a uh, it is a like capacitor plate you know it produce uh, electric field. Now, electric field is the basically it will produce electric field uh, radial electric field and this radial electric field this outside is the the surface is basically negative charge. Uh, so, then electron will not go towards the surface it will go towards the uh, axis of this uh, cylinder. So, thus all electron going towards the axis of the cylinder and then there is a hole you see. Uh, so, they will pass through this hole ok that way I am converging focusing the electron. So, here uh, that uh, uh, this focusing part as I uh, I think intensity I have to increase intensity I have to increase. Now, focusing this you are making sharper you know or it is a it is you see this now focusing it will be very nice point ok. So, that is the basically focusing control is focusing uh, of the electron beam. So, this when I am rotating this knob what I am doing? I am just changing the voltage of this cylindrical capacitor ok nothing else. Now, x shift y shift as I showed you this here I can see only uh, vertical part only I can show I can see this these two plate capacitor plate this vertical and uh, horizontal that two are there, but it is a inside that I cannot see I cannot show you. So, in figure also this is nicely you can see this part ok figure these are the two plates ok these are the two plates fine. So, uh, and here also uh, here also you can see um, it is here it is here uh, these two plates as I showed you is yes, these two plates ok this is a verti vertical plate. So, similar horizontal plates are there inside horizontal plates are there. Now, I am basically here we are so y shift means is a uh, voltage is given to the vertical plates and x shift means voltage is given to the horizontal plate. So, I am changing this one if I change say it is y. So, it is going towards vertical you see, but it is not. Uh, so, I have to rotate it I guess ok I have to make it yes it is now still slightly more. Uh, to Yes, let me check it. 
know in the opposite direction I have to just rotate to align with the scale to align with the scale yeah now it is vertical more or less. Okay. So, here actually when I am rotating this knob what I am doing I am just applying the changing the voltage in the vertical plates. So, now you see the importance of the capacitor plate I showed you okay, two parallel plates just two piece of parallel metal plate when they are separated and if we apply voltage we can generate electric field. Okay. So, that that whatever I showed this component it is this this principle is used here. Okay. So, if if we are not familiar with the with this kind of components whatever we uh, learn from our definition. Okay. So, you cannot think of using uh, uh, in your in your instrument uh, whatever you want to design or whatever you, uh, you want to plan. So, this is the nice application of this parallel plate capacitor you know. Uh, so, which is producing the electric field and because of this electric field uh, I am able to just change the position of the just I can change the position of the uh, electron beam along the y axis. Okay. Similarly, along the x axis I can change. Okay. So, this nice demonstration how to produce electron beam accelerate electron beam how to see it how to how to deflect it. Okay. So, using the electric field we can deflect. So, this is simply this uh, so some force acting on this on this electron beam right which force acting. So, the Lorentz force Lorentz force F equal to Q into charge Q E charge into E electric field plus V cross V V is velocity of the electron V is the magnetic field. Here magnetic field is not there electric field is there. So, using electric field I can shift it using magnetic field also because here accelerated here accelerated uh, electron beam right electrons are there. So, they are moving with some velocity. So, if I apply magnetic field then also I can deflect. Okay. So, using electric field using magnetic field one can deflect the electron beam. Okay. So, here I showed you the using the electric field we are shifting this uh, electron beam. So, uh, here just I will show you quickly this using magnetic field also one can I have bar magnet let let me let show you let you. So, this is the this is the bar magnet right this is the bar magnet I think. Uh, so, I have a beam uh, to show you it has come. Okay. Now, can you hold this magnet just two magnet uh, and change the direction I think you have to come here. Yes, just just apply two magnet. I think I have to show student. Yeah, just apply magnetic field to hold it. Okay. Yes, you see, just you can shift, you can deflect the uh, electron beam using the magnet also. Okay. So just simple demonstration I gave you using the electric field and magnetic field. Uh, this. Uh, uh, electron beam we can we can deflect the electron beam. So, uh, so this is the basically demonstration of this CRT. So, what is there inside and I think I will switch off this one. So, it is the very nice demonstration uh, one can learn many things. So, this as I told this it has in picture. So, main part is focusing and then this electron gun giving the electron uh, and then focused electron then y deflection x deflection right as I defined part as I showed you. So, more details uh, it is not that simple slightly there are some uh, as I told that this uh, filament and then this the cathode okay. this grid as I told this grid in details I think it is uh, okay. this is the grid right this grid as I told and then these are focusing anode 
and this you see this one this plate with hole as I showed you plate with hole plate with hole uh, these are basically p accelerating anode. Okay. So, uh, anode voltage is given uh, step by step. So, p accelerating anode say then accelerating anode. So, the whatever this plate with hole we are using. So, that is basically uh, it is the stage wise anode means we are giving the uh, uh, positive voltage higher and higher and higher. So, that way we are changing <coughs> giving voltage in different stage and uh, electron is passing through these holes uh, of this plate. Okay. So, then it is going so we are getting beam and it is going to this uh, hitting the screen and this is the plate uh, horizontal plate and this is the sorry this is a vertical plate this is the horizontal plate. So, everything except this deflection horizontal deflection plate I have shown you in the picture in the real uh, uh, tube. Okay. So, uh, so this you see uh, display in front panel uh, you have seen this this is there. So, intensity uh, not it is now I have come back to CRO. So, in CRO in front panel what is that this is one part display screen and display control. So, intensity knob is there then focus knob illumination that is different illumination just to uh, illuminate the screen. So, some separate arrangement is there. So, you forget that uh, that one, but here changing the uh, this with this knob focusing and uh, this intensity changing the intensity right and then another vertical control as a vertically uh, this. So, uh, we are changing the position of the uh, electron beam right. So, this uh, so we, we are applying basically voltage and that voltage is calibrated with the scale. So, that you can change this uh, this uh, uh, scale. So, voltage per division it is given here voltage per division. So, when you are rotating. So, here this two are two are there. So, basically uh, just forget another one the another one is same. So, uh, here this uh, uh, this we tell channel. Okay. So, that means in Y plate uh, vertical plate we give the signal okay, using this using this 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 uh, uh, connection okay. and here you see position here written position. Okay. So, vertically whatever I showed there in CRT tube vertically we are we are changing the if you changing the uh, uh, voltage. Okay. So, if you give signal so the way signal voltage in the signal will change. So, that will that will be the plate voltage. Okay. So, uh, and that how uh, so depending the uh, magnitude or peak value of this uh, signal. So, here you can take the change the scale. Okay. So, uh, so that is the y uh, direction or vertical direction. So, one can control the volt uh, along this direction. Uh, so, through the vertical capacitor plate similarly this is the horizontal control mean y plate okay, uh, horizontal plate. So, here this uh, this basically in this uh, in this uh, 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 plate again we are changing the voltage we are changing the voltage, but we are changing voltage in scale of time you know. So, in Y uh, plate we are changing the voltage okay? uh, and here we are changing the time basically, but capacitor plate will not understand time. So, we have to give voltage uh, scaled with time. So, how we can do so if if voltage changes linearly with time. So, that type of signal if we give then this is basically uh, you can voltage uh, you can calibrate with time or time can be calibrated with the voltage. So, that is uh, that type of signal is given to uh, horizontal control horizontal plate. So, that is basically this uh, uh, is, is sawtooth kind of sawtooth kind of waveform or signal is given to uh, the uh, horizontal plate. Okay. So, uh, so, short of means uh, this type of uh, voltage. So, uh, I think this voltage change 
linearly and then come back linearly come back linearly come back ok this is voltage this is time so it is a linear relation you know proportional so so that means you are scaling time with voltage or voltage with time so uh, whatever the uh, voltage is change in the uh, horizontal plate so that you can uh, take as a uh, change of time okay so that's why it's the uh, so you are changing here whatever in in terms of time where basically that you are changing the voltage in y plate okay so this is the part third I think last part is triggering and sweeping. What is that? Is the you see x scale x x axis is the time okay, and y axis is the uh, voltage of your signal. Now signal is given to the y plate okay, but in x plate voltage we are giving that in terms of that is a time separately. Now, these two we have to synchronize right. So, so problem is you see this time that scale is changing very slow and then your voltage that signal is very is fast ok. So, then you cannot so uh, it is difficult to see this waveform ok or this change y scale is change very fast ok. Okay, but this voltage change is very slow. Okay, so so uh, that we have to we have to synchronize. Okay, so we have to match with these two because from different source it is coming. So we have to match it. Another thing is that uh, so when the sweeping will start in this x-axis, and when the signal will st start to enter. Okay, so these two. Uh, it may not be synchronized. Okay. So, we have to make sure that okay, when signal start to enter, so that time the sweeping should start. Okay. So, sweeping already started and then signal is in, then, then uh, there are problem. Okay. So, we have to, uh, so, so that is that's called triggering basically. When signal is entering, that y scale deflect this y y y uh, sorry x scale it should know uh, then it should know then uh, so that it can start immediately that time same time okay so that is basically triggering so these details things are uh, are there and that triggering that is given to uh, different externally it can be given internally uh, it can be given or from line uh, 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 power also uh, one can take it. So, this in detail some other th uh, so some functions are there AC, DC, etcetera. So, main things I discussed this you will learn when we will use in lab during the experiment. So, at a time if I tell everything so it will be confusing. So, these are the so whatever in, in front panel we are doing basically inside what actually is happening inside what is getting changed. So, that one should know I think from this learning uh, uh, I think now you should uh, be able to realize actually rotating knob inside what is happening what uh, you are doing basically. Uh, so, that uh, you should understand and so in detail circuit is uh, just here I have shown. So, from internet I have taken this picture. So, I should acknowledge uh, okay. so this whatever I have discussed. So, uh, details inside that circuit control circuit was there. So, more details even it is a more details are here. So, uh, I will not discuss much, but already I have main things I have discussed. So, last part is what we have learned is it only we learn the CRO cathode ray oscilloscope and we will use in, 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 in our laboratory for experiment only this we learn or something else. Huh? So, whether this knowledge whatever we learn today whether this knowledge is applicable to other application yes you see how x ray is generated how ion beam is generated. Okay? So, these two ion beam 
So, accelerator very big big accelerator you see if you want to electron beam here cathode ray tube is giving electron beam accelerated electron beam. If I want to get accelerated proton beam, if I want to get accelerated uh, ion beam means ion of, of silicon ion of of, of, uh, of uh, say uh, cobalt etcetera. Uh, okay. So, this uh, we, uh, we can we can get this accelerated ion beam and for that this big big accelerators are there and this ion beam accelerated ion beam is used in the mainly in different purpose. So, one purpose is for implanting some foreign metal inside a uh, some other material. Okay. So, implantation it is very important for uh, for p type n type semiconductor producing uh, p type n type uh, fabricating uh, the semiconductor okay. and x ray x ray machine you have seen x ray is very important and in hospital uh, uh, x ray machine is used to take the pictures image of this our bones. Okay. So, this x ray machine how x ray is generated there. So, basically they are the same principle accelerated electron is heating here screen their accelerated electron is heating a material target material and then from that target material this x ray is emitted. So, it is the is the same principle okay. here uh, it is heating the display means target. So, uh, it is uh, light is emitted from there, but if you use the higher energy electrons. So, then uh, this target metal will not emit light it will emit x ray. So, this uh, this same principle is used in uh, for generating x ray okay. and higher version of this uh, x ray machine is basically synchrotron very big machine and very useful for research and yes. So, this so this is the additional uh, application uh, you will understand uh, if you understand the principle of CRO CRT okay? not CRT. Thank you for your attention.